the score where we'll be discussing the latest sports news from around the globe. My name is Tara Callagher and I'm Megan Kennedy. Coming up in tonight's show we'll be discussing the result of this weekend's Six Nations match, Peter Lowry's coke addiction and we'll be taking a special look at women's sport with the Athletic Indoor, I the Athletic Indoor World Championship also on this weekend and Su Hung Young Oh's announces, announces her arrival on the world stage. We'll be talking to the streets taking to the streets to ask people how they feel about the coverage of women's sports. But first of all, let's hear what people have been watching over the weekend. Are you watching any of the sports of the weekend? All of them. All of them? Excellent. What did you think about the rugby? I thought it was a very exciting game. Yeah. It's Gaelic and uh, Tipperary and uh, Dublin. And then in the morning I watched the uh, youngsters playing hurling in my local park. I didn't watch any sport. We actually watched uh, the FA Cup uh, fifth round of uh, Braver City and uh, what was the other team, uh, Sunderland? I watched the rugby match and the football match. Liverpool versus Crystal Palace. <laughs> rugby. And how did you feel it turned out? Turned out to Ireland's advantage. Uh, what do you think about uh, Tiger Woods deciding to quit? golf temporarily? Uh, it's kind of sad because uh, at one point he was uh, an excellent uh, golfer, right? But yeah, I'd be sad to see him gone. Those are some very interesting um, opinions on the street. Did you watch anything over the weekend? Maybe? I might have, I might have, I might have also just not watched anything. <laughs> I've been a very bad sports we, We're the best presenters <laughs> for this job in the world. Sports yeah. fanatics. No, no more, more qualified than us. <laughs> Yeah, well, Irish. I think rugby is the winner for yeah, Ireland. Yeah, yeah, that's what I If I was to exactly, watch yeah. if over the weekend, I if I was to watch one thing, I think it would be the rugby. Mm, and what, what did you think about the rugby then? Um, yeah, it was a very, <laughs> very interesting game. It's a very interesting. Game. <laughs> <laughs> Thoroughly enjoyed it. Johnny Sex is a bit of a legend, isn't oh, he? Oh yeah, definitely. Absolutely, is. absolutely, like yeah, absolutely. Right. So the hot topic of this weekend was obviously that Six Nation games. That Six Nation game with the victory with Ireland over France. Bloodied and battered, Johnny Sexton led Ireland to a glorious triumph in a tense Six Nations battle. The racing Metro out half finished, finished with a cut in his eye and nose on his first outing after hits that led him with a face only a mother could love. In an interview after the match, Johnny has still had enough energy to show off his cunning wit. When asked about his feelings about the game, he said, we scored some points, they scored less. In the end, I think this is the main difference between the two teams. Ireland go into the remaining three games unbeaten with England in their line of fire. It doesn't get any easier. Women's rugby next. But before that, there was a significant local news as DIT Sports finally had something to cheer about. I bet it was in pool, not spoo snooker. There is, there is a difference, in fact. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> <laughs> the intervarsities which took place over the weekend saw DIT's A-team come up against NUIG in a final. And... They actually won the game. Happy days. Mm. Happy days go on, DIT. Here's a bit more on that from one of the participating players. Hi, uh, you were playing on the DIT pool team in the Enterprise City Championships yeah, last yeah. week. Yeah. Can oh, you tell us a bit about it? Well, we went away for the weekend down to Dundalk to the Louis Fitzgerald Hotel from Friday to Sunday. So we were there two, two nights, three days, uh, competing for the weekend. There was uh, four teams sent from DIT. Okay. From A to D, so... I was on the C team myself, like I'm first year, so it was my first year in the varsities, but you would have had people that were there for like three, three or four in the varsities, so yeah, all we through. <laughs> so was it a good first experience at the InterVarsity? Yeah, it was a good weekend, like we got a lot of pool in, uh, the A team won the whole thing in the end, won the team competition, so it was a team and singles events, so yeah, definitely a good, good weekend. And how did your matches go? Well, I didn't do great in it, no, I was knocked out in the first round. Oh, yeah. that's a pity. <laughs> Okay, thank you. <laughs> DIT students doing us proud. And in women's sport, Irish women recorded a vital win over France this weekend. The French women were not happy, but as nobody actually speaks French, can't really tell if that was because of the game. Nee Brings was the outstanding Irish player and continues her great one run of form in the infamous green jersey. That's our nominated for the World Player of the Year last year. Pretty good. Elsewhere in the world, Indoor Athletic Championship recorded tumbling down in thrilling fashion. Katrina Johnson Thompson set a new British record at 1.97 metres. Lake, the world, the world junior high jump champion, set a new British indoor junior record at the EIS venue. 
clearing 1.94 meters. That is ridiculously high. How somebody can jump that is beyond me. For silver, enough to secure, secure a place along with Johnson Thompson in the GB and Northern Irish team for the European Indoor Championships, which will be held in Prague next month. Both, both athletes may, have, may, of course, opt to compete in a pentathlon. Australian teenager Su Hung Oh has won the first tournament of the 2015 Ladies European Tour season, the RACV Ladies Masters becoming the fourth winner of the championship. The 18-year-old Victorian, Victorian signalled her arrival as a world-class player by capturing her first title at RACV Royal Pines Resort on the Gold Coast in only her second tournament as a professional. O said, the words, o said the words of encouragement from her idol, Kerry Webb, who texted messages of support before her final round, has helped her to stay relaxed. Keeping on the theme of women in sports, we sent our reporters out to the public to get their opinion on women's sport in general. Feel that women's sports is important? I do, I think it's, it's under, it's, it's not shown as much, you know. I mean, the, 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 for instance, the Irish women's team are doing like, a lot better than the men at the moment, but it's not getting the same coverage, you know. It is very important because women don't get the same um, attention as men do at the moment and I felt sorry for the women rugby players that were playing in Ashburn when the uh, lights went out and it was unfair to women in general so that's my opinion on that one. It's every bit as important as the male's outlook as well. It's extremely important and it's good for the society and everyone in general like you know what I mean like. How do you feel about women's sport? I think it's marvellous. Women's sport is actually like it's a great thing, like you know what I mean. From uh, years ago, like uh, basically the society didn't really want women being in sports, really, like you know what I mean. Like and now just look at Katie Taylor, like you know what I mean. All over and women's champion bo boxing, you know what I mean. So, do you think women's sports gets enough news coverage? Um, not as much as it should. I should know as I do coach a women's football team for girls, so it should get more than it should. It doesn't get a ton of coverage, but it's starting to get more coverage in the last like five years, I've noticed. Well, definitely not, because I didn't know that women actually played rugby. Did you see the result of the Women's Six Nations at the weekend? I, guess I, I, I didn't watch anything. Ireland won, I think, won the last game, but lost the previous one, I think. I didn't even know it was on, to be honest. No, I didn't catch what was the result. 30 to 5? 30 to 5, that was very good. Excellent, excellent. Okay. I didn't know women play rugby. Some very progressive opinions out there yeah. on Dublin Street. How do you feel about women's sports? Do you I play think, sports yourself? Yeah, I play hockey all the time, yeah, and yourself. Um, well, I, went, I, I had great intentions for the year. I bought a gym membership in September, went four times the first week in September, oh. but I unfortunately haven't been since. But that made all change now after seeing those in lighter news, Peter Laurie, P Peter Laurie has finally explained why nobody's ever heard of him. For those of you who don't know who he is, i.e. all of you, Peter Laurie is a golfer and not a great one. Once upon a time he won the French Open, but nowadays he blames his lack of success on an addiction, of, on an addiction to Coke. Coca-Cola, that is. Here's Peter describing the tragic process. I drink two cans a day, or three cans a day, at the moment, but I was drinking leashes of the stuff. Leisures of the stuff. Even in the hottest country in Malaysia, I'd have a Coke on the golf course because I was addicted to it. I know this might shock people, but I lost all confidence in myself. Mad what Coca Cola mm, can do. Yeah, Mad. definitely. We were all shocked, Peter, and we, we were all shocked, Peter, and we wish him a well recovery. It's not just Peter Lowry either. Tiger Woods has seen a dramatic loss of form also. He went from being terrible to even more terrible in the space of one year. Well, Tara, I think we can just conclude from this that golfers are a bunch of whingy little buggers. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Finally, we'll end with some good old-fashioned drudgery. Irish baggage handlers gave the French rugby team a nice little send-off, leaving a lovely message on their baggage. Johnny's back with a bang. And with that bang, it's a goodbye from me. And it's in a goodbye from me. <laughs> Till next time, we'll see you on the score. Bye. Bye.